Good morning. This is Tony McLean Brown and Kelly Darling. And today we're doing a DIY on how to move your mailbox from here down to there so people will stop screwing up our FedExes, our DoorDashes, and our Ubers. Okay, but like every good project, hole digging project that we've done at Penley Produce, you got to start with a chew of tobacco. I prefer the Levi Garrett. Ooh, is that a fresh pack? Yep, Grand oh, Lloyd. Yeah. Grand Lloyd chewed the plug and my grandmother Lucy she chewed the beech nut we're going with Levi Garrett $21 a pouch when I was a kid $2.50 pack of chew now Kelly's going to teach you about how to do proper citation of the pole all right so what's most important is where the front of the mailbox sits from the edge of the road so what we have to do is we have to measure from the front, let's go with the handle, to the edge. And we were told by our mailman, Brad. Bradley, that it needs to be about 18 inches. So he has room to get in there, okay? Now, what you'll notice in our, our new mailbox that we're gonna be doing has a middle post. Some have, like our neighbors here, let me show you. They have a rear entry post. Ours is straight up middle, okay? So if we measured from the post to the road, wrong. Because if you had a rear entry, it would be different. So the key is here. Now, there's one more a measurement we must take that's very important. Go ahead. Tom. Okay, listen. So, so when he comes up here in that truck, he's got to pull that door open, and it's right here. You got to make sure that the bottom of that door is around, by golly, 32 inches. And that way, he can sit in his chair, and he can go boom, boom, like that. So We found the perfect location for the new mailbox, but we got a little trimming to do. facing two challenges. Number one, we want to be on our side of the property line and we want to watch out, call before you dig, before we hit the, the water line, the irrigation system, and the uplighting for grandpa tree right there. So we're gonna to have to go a little tender here at first and see how we made our marks here. This is on the property line. This is where we gotta be back based on Kelly's measurement. X marks the spot as indicated by my two my two state flags. That's how we used to do it in Candler, North Carolina. Ain't that right, D. Wayne? You got about six more inches to go. So we got us a good hole, 32 inches from the corner of the box down to the ground. It's 18 inches from the door of the box to the edge of the highway. But now it's the time to set the pole. Listen, we didn't show you much about this because you ain't smart enough to put nuts on a mailbox on a pole. You probably ain't, shouldn't be doing this project know how. Appreciate you. So we used our sophisticated leveling tool, looked inside and we got it approximated in straight level and square. I'm gonna go over here and get the sack free. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour it in. No water, no fuss, no muss. Just pour it in. There's gonna be a lot of burying bud. We're pouring him in the ground. Now the secret about this sack crate is, is it's gonna set with the water from the ground. Well folks, that's how you do it. Dig a hole, put the pole in, get a straight level and square. Lay the sack creek to it, cover it up, let it set up overnight. Call her a day. Appreciate you. Come back anytime. Bye. Subscribe.